Now when you come in and you can sit and you see numbers and numbers are not increasing, but you know for a fact we got one of the baddest and the most powerful ministries that there is around here. You know why it don't increase? Because self-sabotage. That's why. Self-sabotage. That's why it don't increase. Doing it yourself. A wise woman builds her house, but a foolish woman with what? She don't need nobody else. She'll tear it down with her own hands. So when you start self-sabotaging, that's what you're doing. You're tearing down your own house. If you sit among people and you allow people to put their mouth on, on the ministry, you part of the self-sabotage. Because a joker should know that they can't even come to you like that. You understand? As a matter of fact, I really don't even care for dealing with you. Because that's where I eat and that's where I know to be the truth. And so if you don't, I respect the fact if you don't like it, you can have the fact that you don't like it, but you ain't going to throw shade. Not over here. The sun going to shine over here, baby. We don't need no shade. So you ain't going to throw no shade at me. Yeah, you might throw it with them because they just like you. But you ain't going to throw no shade with me. See, that's self-sabotage. That's sabotaging your own house. That's blocking the flow. Oh, it's real, it's real, it's real, ain't it? It's real. It's real. It's real. You'll sit there and let them talk. What, what? Talk about what? What? Jesus took a stand. Jesus said, if I cast out devils, then I can, if I cast them out by Beelzebub, then I am of the devil. He said, but I'm of the kingdom of God. He took a right to stand for what he believed. And they had to know. And he stood for what he believed and made sure he didn't let them punk him. Not at all. He did not let them chump him down. Not at all. If you do not take a stand for stuff, you are going to be self-sabotaging. Point blank. Either you for it or you against it. Either y'all for this house or you against this house. I'm just being honest with y'all. And believe it or not, I can take it either way. And I mean that. I can take it either way. But either you for it or against it. What I'm trying to do is, is I'm trying to bring y'all to a place of truth. I'm not trying to bash anybody and don't take it like that. But you got to come to the truth in order for you to come to a place of healing. If you don't come up with the truth, then you are not going to heal. You're not going to deal with the stuff if you don't admit it. If you have sat among people and you've allowed them to just ridicule and allowed them to say all types of things about a house that protects and covers your family because this one does. There ain't a partner in here that this house don't cover and protect your family. I'll come through water looking for y'all and go through fire to get to y'all if something go down. That's point blank. But if you were sit and allow people to talk trash and to throw all kinds of shade and you do nothing about it, then hey, you self-sabotage. Self-sabotage. And it's just the truth. It's just the truth, y'all. I want y'all to really look at yourselves and see as it relates to this. As it relates to this house, where you at for real? Where are you for real? I can take the honest truth that any of y'all give me, and I mean that. If you say, listen, Pastor Lee, I'm, I, I'm, just on, a, I'm on level one. I ain't lying to you about that, baby. Okay, then, well, let's see if we can get the two. That's all I'm going to say. Let's see if we can get the level two. If you want to get the two, we can get the two. It's not a bashing moment. It's an honest moment. It's about being true. Because I'd much rather for you to be honest about where you are 
so that you can be dealt with according to where you are than for you to operate in a spirit of deception. Because if you start operating in a spirit of deception, you know what's going to happen. You're going to be granted certain things that you're really not ready for. And so then when you be granted those things and that real truth of who you are and what you're struggling with comes out with, it's going to be a disaster. It ain't going to look good. I much rather cover you. I'll lay over every one of y'all like a blanket and cover you before I expose you. I would much rather cover you and let's get the stuff fixed and let's get to where we are. There is where we need to be. There's nothing that you can tell me that is going to catch me by surprise. I promise you. I bet y'all probably already know you're doing it. Guarantee you. Because I spent too much time by myself and I spent too much time in with the man. And he going to tell me what's going on. So it really ain't too much that you can say. You can't come to me away. You know, I'm dr- oh, honey, please, you were drunk last night. I know. But let's deal with it. What you want to do about it? Let's fix it. Let's fix it. This self-sabotage and this sabotaging is not good, y'all. It's not good. Some of you, it's going to tear your house up if you don't quit. Because the whole attack of it is, is to destroy. And I'm going to close with this with letting y'all know. Sabotage works from within. Sabotage works from within. Something will get in you. And then it will start motivating you to do some stupid stuff. You got it? You mess around and let an offense get. And so then the next thing you know, now you went somewhere and start talking about your pastor. Putting your mouth on your pastor. See, because of something that got in you. That, that you didn't talk about, that you didn't deal with. And so now what you're doing is, is you self-sabotaging. Because you once were part of the prayer team. But you ain't praying now. You done did a cutoff. You ain't holding the position like you were supposed to. That sabotage. It comes from within. So for all of the areas that we see that we are causing sabotage, I need to tell y'all something. It's because it's something you need to fix. In here. You got a problem somewhere in here. Whether it's a character flaw, whether it's a personality issue, whether it's a generational curse, it's something within self-sabotage. Make you hurt yourself. How can you hurt something that is supposed to be billing you? This is the place that builds you. This is the place you come for safety to. This is the place where there's shelter. Regardless of what anybody say, I wish a joker would come and stand up in my face and tell me that I didn't legitimately do them right. I bet you can't bring me one. Because I don't play like that. I don't play like that. I'm genuine in what I do. I don't play like that. I'm not going to expose you and cover you too. I'm not a topsy-turvy type person. I'm straight no chaser. I'm going to give you what I give. I wish one would. Come see me. Come see me. With all the conversations that goes about and all the conversations that you take in, all the stuff you listen to what they say, some of y'all let folks talk to y'all about old stuff, stuff I did way back years ago, just ignorant. Ignorant. Sabotage is causing you to be a damage to your house. This is your house. I've sent the order of rebuke in here today. I've sent a strong order of rebuke in here today, a strong one. I said, 
I sent a strong order of rebuke in this house. And the same way that Jesus told Peter, he said, get the Get me behind me. So if I start pushing you behind me and you no longer can be with me, it's because I don't caught you sabotage. I don't caught you. I don't saw you. I don't saw you. This is my life, y'all. This is who I am. This ain't just what I do. I'm not a perfect per- person, but I'm purposed. I wouldn't intentionally hurt you. You can let Joker get in your ear, and you can let your fears and all your little stuff mess you up and cause you to start self-sabotaging, and it's gonna mess you up from one of the greatest places you could ever be, and that is to be able to sit under me. I mean that. I'm saying that publicly. I'm one of the best you can get to sit on them. One of the best. Because I don't care how nasty you are. I'm going to look out for you. I'm going to look out for you. I'm going to plead your case with God. I'm going to plead it. Can I join you in it? No. Do I have to preach against it? Yes. But does that mean I throw you away? No. No. It don't. But please, don't sabotage this house. Please don't. Please don't. Don't sabotage this house. This is God's house. I could take your sabotaging taste of trees better than I could this. Because it's more dangerous to do it to this. Because if you start, you keep sabotaging God's house, you know what God going to end up doing. Somebody tell me what you think. What you think God going to end up having to do? He going to end up having to deal with you. Point blank. He's going to end up having to deal with you. If you got assignments in this house, if you got roles in this house, please step up in your stuff. I don't care about COVID. I don't care about COVID. Better figure out something to do to make it look like you're still a part of it. I come in here, I'm the pastor of this house, and, and although COVID done came about, what do I still do? I still come in and preach, don't I? And when I couldn't come in here and preach, I was on Zoom, wasn't I? So you can't let that be no excuse as to say why you ain't tried to make sure you ain't tried to handle this or you ain't tried to reach out to this or you ain't did something. If you can't do nothing but make some phone calls, if you got a side mess, do what you need to do because you are a part of the flow. How do y'all think we're going to conquer this COVID stuff if we don't come together as a people and bind together? We still got to make sure that the house of God functions and flows. I appreciate every time you give. I appreciate every offering that you give. I appreciate it. Yes, I do. But listen, let me tell you this. That ain't all of it, y'all. That ain't all of it. Most people think church is all about money. That ain't all of it. That is not all of it. If you was to take everybody from the building, and everybody just sent in their tithe and their offering. Nobody came to the house of God. Everybody just sent in cash out or uh, mail or whatever it is that they were going to do. Everybody sent it in and nobody came. What will happen to the house? Hmm? What happens to a house that is no use, no use in? Y'all know we see it all the time with old houses. What happened to it? Break down. Uh-huh. So that will happen here too. That will happen here as well, y'all. If you are not occupying your position, if you are not doing what you are supposed to do, then you are part of the breakdown. 
That's what will happen. So I do appreciate every tithe. I do appreciate every offering. I do. I appreciate it. I'm